who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. Because a slave is just a secondary, you know, power, you know? And the master is always the control, you know? And our people, our people um, is, is victimized by, by our own who become self-serving once they get up to a certain level because they never really have the power, the control, right. you know? And as long as you have a fear of man mm -hmm. and you're not completely submitted to the Lord Most High, that money, that fame, that living good, that's always going to be your master. Right. That's always going to be your God. Yeah. It's going to always control, have a control factor over you, mm -hmm. you know, because you're afraid to lose what you got to come back to where you were. Mm -hmm. Now, Samuel Lewis, no, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. Samuel Lewis was a brother who wrote a mystic book, but Samuel yeah. Jackson, mm -hmm. he talked a lot of stuff, he's cool and everything, but... Uh, how how long will it be before the people forget that he used to sleep in the New York tra train station? Right, he was as a derelict. Right, you know what I mean. They shine him up, put him in Hollywood. You understand how they jump to a derelict over people such as ourselves to go and then tell people the truth, mm -hmm. put them on TV and tell them the truth. Part of their trick again. It's so all it's all a part of their trick. Mm -hmm. They hire slaves to keep their slaves under control. Yeah. And the only reason they're doing that today, man, is because the international world have to see that black people, African American I mean, people, right. are being treated well. Because when during the times of the Vietnam War, do you know that when they used to capture the, the military men, that they used to let the black ones go? Yeah. Our people don't know yeah. that. Yeah. The right. Viet Cong used to say, black man, go ahead. You don't know what this war is about. This war is not about you. Right. And they will let some black guys go, mm -hmm. you know? And that's a fact of life, mm -hmm. you know? Because they recognize the, our pitiful states. Well, our own, our own people won't recognize our pitiful states because we have been groomed to want to be something that we can never be. We can ne I can never be Caucasian. And now, and now what you're saying, in this particular war they got going on now, we are captured as captives right. because now we've oh, chosen now, to be a part. Now we've well, chosen to be yeah. a part. Mm -hmm. And like Aiza said, you know, in the 90s, what I was telling mm -hmm. you, when Aiza said that, that, that they put us up in front. Mm -hmm. Don't think Condoleezza Rice and people like Colin Powell, it was, a, was yeah, a, just a yeah. happenstance. Yeah. Right. It was, it was meant to be. They put them up to go represent so that the people, because they know what happened in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. In other wars, not just Vietnam, but right. other wars. Yeah, and and, and I ran let all the black yeah. people go. Yeah. They want them exactly. to stop yeah. letting our people go. They want them to stop treating our people as different. So they put us up front, so mm -hmm. and let them go out there. And you know, anytime you got a woman, man, and you know how women are. You know, you set her up and put her out there. She gonna talk from her from her feelings, and her feelings gonna be emotional, and she gonna get going and. And and Condoleezza Rice don't cut no slack, man. Oh no. She go and she talk to them people like they they is beneath her. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they see a black woman. And when they see when you see a black woman, you see, you see the black nation. Yes, sir. Huh? That's right. You see the black nation. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, that's, wait, go ahead. I mentioned uh, uh, just the Iranian thing. We were talking about how that that happened on television. You know, it happened on on network television on CNN. When all those African Americans were let loose on the plane from the Iranian hostage crisis mm -hmm. at that time, oh like, yeah, and I don't even think the news people even expected that to happen. They were expecting yeah. some people to be released, but then when they saw all the black people just getting off the plane, sold because the people life. all over the world yeah. know that this ain't yeah. our nation, right. mm -hmm. that we that we have no nation, we only have ourselves, a nation within a nation that's so divided. But you know what's really sad? It's not just African Americans that's divided. If you, divide, if you look yeah, around true. the world, Caucasians will come together, they will fight one another, but when it comes to another people, they will come together. 
Mm -hmm. Black people all over the world are divided. Look how divided Africa is. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All them states oh, yeah. Yeah. that will not, you got the, 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 the mm -hmm. I tell you, look at the United States. You got 52 states that's like 52 countries. People don't understand each state is like a country. That's why they got the state of Israel. That's a country. You got 52 states who agree to work as one. That's right. And it's a whole continent to work right. as one. Africa, look at Africa. If Africa and all them blacks ever came together as one nation of, of many states, who would stop it? By the same token, look at China. China have all them people together. They came together thousands of years ago. Right. And you got nations in the world who are afraid of them. They ain't going to say nothing nice. They ain't going to say nothing. Britain ain't going to say nothing. But they're afraid of them people. Okay. They're afraid they don't want to get them, get their ire up. No, they don't. They only come to like those and the Korea and everything. That they jump on Japan people. and Korea and what have you because they broke off from the other Asians. Because mm -hmm. they separate. But if, they, but if they come together with China and Korea, oh, yeah. and Korea and China come together, North and, and South and whatever, with China, they have a big problem, man. One of the things that Holy Kuma was talking about earlier, about the history, and maybe you mentioned perfectly about these 52 states combined as the United States under one common right. goal. Mm -hmm. When they talk about the war, the um, Civil War, they were two the North and the South states right, right, fighting to right. reunite, yeah. become back a union right, right. because it broke over over right. they so called say it was slavery, yeah. but yeah. that was only an underlying that was a like secondary yeah. slave yeah. thinking yeah. in the process. Yeah. Yeah. They were gonna be they started the original college at thirteen and that we're not gonna be ruled right. by right. the north, they're gonna Central rule the uh, yeah. south. They was the whole problem but it really right. broke off. But the you people, know, being that you speaking on that <laughs> Holy Queen Mother is, is trying to help some youngsters get mm -hmm. some things together where we could um, uh, have the people come together, you know, on a common ground, common people on right. a common ground, like the, um, the second, third, and fourth of July, you know. Right. Uh, um, but I guess she'll she'll express that and put them put that information out there later. But mm -hmm. in her studies, you know, and things that, right. to to express and talk about, she came across the fact of uh, the New Jersey was the last state in the North mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to give up slavery. They refused to give up slavery. They was the last state to give up slavery. Mm -hmm. They did it grudgingly. They was with the South, New Jersey. And I was telling her, she was surprised. I said, I could see Aiza Allah putting me here, you know, because Aiza put me in the worst nation. Mm -hmm. So this is the, 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 the worst state mm -hmm. in the North. Right. Where did Elijah come from? Georgia. Georgia. That was a pretty bad state back then, uh -huh. too. And, you know, because I either tend to do that. You look at the history of the prophets, and they be in the worst places, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm not talking about worse in terms of, uh, like they say, United States is the greatest nation in the world. In certain terms, it is. Right. The greatest, but it's the greatest of evil, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, see, when you know someone, you're aware, you got the power to make a change for the good, and you just Don't. stay with the evil. That <laughs> makes you the worst right. of evil. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like me, if I could help you and I refuse and I see people that can't help you trying to help you and I stand back on my laws and I won't help you, I just refuse. I'm worse than one who can help you and stand back saying, I, I ain't even going to try. Yeah. You know, because I can and I won't. You mm won't. -hmm. You know, it makes me well, worse. When you say worse, you, uh, uh, being in a worse state, to my, are you saying... Uh, state where it's the worst. The laws, the laws, the laws, the hidden laws, and what have you. The 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 um the particular ideas and the perception and okay. their way of being. See, you know, I I I seen this lady on the news the other day, and it just it just gets me when I see things like this here. Um, her family got killed, you know, unfortunately for her, and um, and she was saying how loving the parents were. They were loving people. They were, they were righteous, and they were this, and they were that, to their children, and they're the greatest father and mother, and so forth and so on. And I just looked and said, "Yeah, and Allah brought this tragedy to them for what reason? You know, yeah. they could have been the most loving and righteous and greatest people to their children." But what about to the children of the world? What about to the children outside their community? What about the children outside their race? You know? Not to say that this was them people, but just right. the thought came to me that this is how it is. Everybody thinks their loved one's going to heaven when they die. 
Yeah. You ever go to a funeral? Yeah. You know a guy who was raped, raped and kidnapped and killed all these people and selling all the drugs and killing all these people and doing all kinds of stuff to killing our nation. And you go there and they cry and they say, I know he's looking down from heaven on me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, because he's your love. You know, and I never do that. I never, I haven't done it in all my life. I used to turn the key with that because you can't look at things. People like looking at things in so called black and white. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's always what it's saying. And I used yeah. to read the stories of peoples in the books at the signs that the story of Noah's son. He was, he looked on a, on a face of things, he looked like he was good at writing, but I used mm -hmm. to say, he's not of your family. And that's a small statement, I used to make wisdom out of that. It's like, um, thing. it's like, um, see, and I, I'm sorry for cutting you off. No, it's okay. But I either, it surprised me sometimes. And I'm telling you, you know, I'm the messenger of Allah. And, and, and don't think that everything that Allah give me, I go, woo, yeah, run <laughs> with it. I don't. I don't. Every, because there's many things I either give me, and I be like, oh, Allah, oh. Ooh, really? You know, how am I do this? <laughs> You know what I mean? Because right. if you look out, and we got 200 some odd million people here in this country, and right. everybody believe a certain group is good. Like you got the Jesse Jacksons, and you got the Farrakhan, and you mm -hmm. got the Warabdi Muhammad's on the black side, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then you got the Al Sharpton coming up, I don't know what he's going to be, you know what I mean? Right. But, but you got others too. And then you got people that support them no matter what, and they all believe, they take the good from them. And then the Lord says, I'm angry with that one. Right. That one is the, those are the, these two here, these are the worst of the, of the people, the worst of your people, they're the worst, they're the leaders, they're the greatest false prophets of your people, and then you look and they got a hundred, supposedly 300,000 followers, 200,000 followers, and they all believe, and then you look and then they be saying they're trying to do these good things, you know, right. and it's like, wow, that's, that's a hard task, Father, that's hard to go out there and show these people's evil. You know, but yeah. see, the yeah, Lord Most High know everything. It don't miss nothing. Yeah. And, and we might not understand his wisdom. We may go against his wisdom like most people do. But in the end, his wisdom, his wisdom and his power of his will prevails over everything. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. but just two things I wanted to touch mm -hmm. base that we kind of went off track with. I didn't get a chance to say. Um, one was about being a new people. I want everybody mm -hmm. to know that when the slaves were brought from Africa, they were sold to all race of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is why we say we're the new people of the day and know this here. Because I know growing up when I used to tell people that I believed that I was more Indian than I was Afro-American, people used to laugh, you know. Um, even though there are certain things about me, you would say, well, it's Indian. And um, I know my family history, so that's why I can say that. Yeah. But when I was doing my research, um, slavery wasn't completely abolished according to what is written until the Indians let go of their slaves, right. which mm -hmm. was, the, um, I think, the Creek, no, the Cherokee, was, Let, the was the last ones to let go they slave in 1869. And it's reported that they were the worst slaveholders of, of the Indians, the mm -hmm. Cherokee. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just letting our people know because they're so focused mm -hmm. on Africa, and that's why that they will not let us go get a DNA test that's affordable to show that exactly mm -hmm. how much of what we have of in what us. We are. It's a shame that they do that. Well, some Caucasian people probably are old back child support. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> they find out that they black too. <laughs> you know, yeah. and right, and, yeah. and the thing is the sign of Aiza. Aiza is, Aiza lives with so many signs that we overlook them. Mm -hmm. Now, Caucasian people, they used to say all black people look the same. Nope. You know, not look you same. know now, you, can I get, say that. you have us four sitting up here and we don't look the same. So, I used to what? think that all Chinese look the same until I started looking at them mm -hmm. and saying, wait, they don't look the same. But if you notice, forget the features, the facial features. If you look at Afro-American people, you see that all of our body structures are different. Now, if you look at Anglo-Saxon, Caucasian mm -hmm. people... Right. Their body structure is the same. the same. Nothing in the back, 
certain mm -hmm. kind of legs, certain kind of hands, right. bone structure in the face, and what have you. Now, their bone structure and everything is basically similar across the board. In other words, what you're saying is their pedigree. Right. All the pedigree people all look the same. Mm -hmm. And we're not pedigree. They will consider us mud. Right. And we're mixed. Right. So when when people want to keep pointing you to Africa, and there's nothing wrong with looking into Africa, but let that not be the beginning of the end of your, your, your search. search right. Right. Yeah. Because that's not what's happening. Because, it, yeah, it's only right that people to seek to understand themselves and in order for you to seek to understand in order for you to understand your personal self you got to understand what's in your genes you got to understand that what makes you think like you think and you know everybody got something going on secretly and a lot of people may have a lot of problems a lot of serious problems personal problems because they thinking in a certain way privately and they don't even understand why and then when they get out with what's fashionable and all the people in the crowd they have to act a certain way that they really not Mm -hmm. You know, so if they come to understand who they are, what they are, where they come from, they got to go back to the genes to know that. You know, and I was saying something earlier, don't, don't lose your thought, but I was saying something earlier about how, you know, I tried to bend towards Africa. Right. In all my life, but in all my childhood, man, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I had that a a Native American Indian spirit coming out of me, okay. man. And um, even in the, I was born playing drums, man, you know, yeah. and I tried to play the African style and it just, just wouldn't, wouldn't come, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like so many things turned me towards the native spirit. And my okay. mother and father used to always tell me, you're Indian, we're Indian. And I would say, yeah, but we're black. We need to be educated as a people. Yeah, but our people that. need to truly I'm be educated. That. So them kinds of questions will be answered for us as children, where we can grow up and have more peace. But you know, the devil ruling the world don't want us, don't want nobody to have peace. But go ahead with what you were saying. And the other thing, you know, I just wanted to highlight that. The other thing was just a joke about Jesse Jackson. Like when I ran free the black people. Oh, yeah. Jesse Jackson thought he had an edge, so every time somebody was captured, he was going over there to get the, you know, trying to negotiate so they could get released. I said, wow, my people now, I don't, he, he ain't nothing about negotiating to get his own people released. But he done made several trips to, to different countries to get Caucasian people released. And, but he's supposed to be looked upon as a black leader. Not to them. No, not to them, but to They're our people. So when you're raising a small child and you allow that child to think that this man is for his people right. and this child see this kind of action, you know, what do you leave them with? With a bunch of confusion, yeah. you know? The thing is we have to learn how to deal with truth. We have to look at people for what they are, even if it hurts. Because yeah. truth is the beginning of developing yourself to a higher level. Dealing with it, accepting it, and living with it. So. Yeah, yeah that, that kind of lesson that, um, that the Holy Commander pointed out, how they portray Jesse Jackson and his actions. That uh, make a young person that uh, think of Jesse Jackson as a hero. To be, go out and try to follow him and try to be more beholden onto other people, people that aren't of their kind, mm -hmm. and they will of their own. Oh, yeah, that Rainbow Coalition thing is a serious thing. Yeah. You know, oh, it's it, you know um, um, before we go on this guy, one of the, one of the, one of the um, engineers just handed uh, us a note asking could Alex Haley thing be, you know, have part of this problem. But yes, that's part of the whole thing, to try to take us back to Africa. You know, and they found out that some of the things he said right. really wasn't right. true. He wrote right. up, fabricated a lot of stuff in his books, you know, in yeah. Roots. That stuff, a lot of that stuff was just television right. stuff. It wasn't real, but he made a lot of money, and he had a lot of support. See this book I got? Then Caucasians ain't going to run and, and, and support this book. They're not going to run and take this out and put it on television. They're gonna, not going to run and tell people, look at this book. This book is historical. This book is from the Lord Most High. This book is about truth. It's all about truth. But they'll take an Alex Haley book or, 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 or that poet, that chick who's supposed to be like one of the new poets. Um, what's her name? My Angela. My Angela. Make them famous. You know, any time the Caucasians in this society, that those who lead and those who have the power, any time they take our people and they raise them up, it's for their cause. And their cause is to keep us slaves. I don't mm -hmm. care who it is, it's, it's, it, it has been for their cause. And you got Jesse Jackson running out there 
with this thing about um, us coming together hand in hand like Martin Luther King. And Elijah explained that to Martin Luther King before he passed. A lot of people don't realize that Martin was being favorable to Elijah before they killed oh, yeah. him. That he was at a secret meeting and they was going to come together. And the Caucasians who be tapping their homes and what have you knew that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So he had to die because he about to bring a whole legion of people from the south. And that's something that, that, that is never spoken of. Because <coughs> mm -hmm. people fear <coughs> them people. You know, but the thing about it is, you need to go into the history of the people. Go to Africa, go to Europe, go to Asia, go all over, and look at the history of the Caucasian people. This ain't hate talk. This is real talk. Yeah. They are opposites of us, of the dark-skinned people. You have opposites of everything. They call it a polar a polarity. Right. You understand? Uh, from one end to the other, like man is on the same pole of a woman. Man, men are opposite to women. Right. Women. You right. understand? Caucasians is opposite to the Nubian, the dark skinned men. Right. And it's not just in the complexion, it's in the nature, it's in the spirit, it's in it's in the insight, it's in the desire, it's in everything, it's always opposite. And they say opposites attract. And see that's how most people who are confused, they are attracted to the opposite. Oh, I want that strange thing. You understand? Right. I'm not attracted, uh, attracted to the opposite. I never have been attracted to the opposite. And I found that most of my companions, female and male, they look like me. I'm not talking about black people. They look right. like they had Indian in them okay. through all my life. I did it unconsciously. I didn't even realize until I looked back in these later days of my life and see my wife and see my, my past companions and say, wow, I had all Indian companions. Native American Indians that have thrown in with the black folks and called Negroes have drawn to them. Right. You, I'm drawn to. I'm drawn to myself because I'm one who always looked for myself. Right. You understand? I always want to understand myself. I want to be free in myself. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a slave to to some force that that's against me. It don't make sense to me. You know? Yes, sir. So when the choosing, as I even said. It is now give a clearer understanding for us you know, on the panel, as I even brought it forth for you, that the newly chosen people are those who are inclined towards this covenant, yeah. this agreement. Those now, who obey, who, who, who agree and obey. Okay. And this is what happened that came through the calling of a person like yourself, African-American and Indian descent. That's why the calling of African-American people is so important. But, as I said, the terror and the wrath of the Lord haven't come down on people, right. so what people will turn to Regardless of color and shit, because like you said, we're not about race, but it's about the truth. Those who seeking truth now, whether it be black, white, blue, brown, say, wait a minute, I hear this man talking right. about this word, this right. message, right. and I can relate yeah. to the truth of it, and I can accept that the Lord bless them to accept this, yeah. and obey what's sent down in the covenant, right. you know, yeah. obey the laws and the orders that's sent down. You know, that's the thing, that, as I'm sitting there thinking now, that either, it's always expressing it, giving more of his wisdom and his guidance to us, like, wow. It touches on so much more than it's just like back to the name of call, but the few were chosen, right. the few of the people. Right. You know, I remember we did the show on the Christian Fellowship Council, the radio station, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. 1430 in JR. Mm -hmm. And um, and the, and the, and the uh, host was asking us the question, because I had mentioned Farrakhan, what have you said. You know, he said, why is Farrakhan so important? Why is it that you got to prove yourself by them hearing and, and, uh, and agreeing with you? Right. And, and my words to him was, basically, listen, the Lord, I do what the Lord say do. The Lord told me to call this man, to call this people, because prophecy must be fulfilled. I must go to Elijah's temple. Right. I had to go to Elijah's temple to fulfill that covenant, to, right. to fulfill that prophecy. And, and Farrakhan and Warabdi Muhammad are the leader of those people. Right. So they had to come to know about me. Why, why was I concerned? Farrakhan is constantly leading our people astray. Many of our people that sit, sit under him would come to this new covenant of the Lord. Mm -hmm. They would come to this new understanding. I'm not trying to trap them and make them my slaves. I'm not trying right. to trap them in no circle. I'm trying to give them a message from the Lord that I know the Caucasians going to take sooner or later. Going to yeah. take it and run with it. And they're going to again be under their feet. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I've lived a life, man, of trying to find myself and, and really sacrificing and going through a lot of things, man, a lot of changes and marriages and what have you, John Ray and raising my children and and breaking away from family members who were not right in the in the path of the way, who don't understand why I did what I did. And 
and Aiza has given me his word. Mm -hmm. And his word is pure. You know, mm -hmm. and this word is a word of saving grace, man. You talking about you want to be saved. You talking about you want to know what Christ is. You talking right. about you want to know what law is. You want to know what you are. You know, it ain't none of that arm, leg, leg, arm, head, <laughs> job. Right. You know, that those low-level things be talking, talking about. about right. It's about the essence of the creator, the essence of the eternal being, the infinite being that's here, that you breathe, that you live in. Right. You know, it's mm -hmm. essence. It's essence of mind that makes you be what you are, that compels you to be what you are, that forms you, creates you, and recreates you, resurrects you, and do all the things that it does. We talking about you coming into this awareness, and not just this awareness, but this communion, mm -hmm. this companionship with where it will speak to you or send you angels or whatever right. to speak to you and guide you and make you become alive with the living so that you really be alive. You really know what the, the second resurrection is. And know who you are. And the, the, the main thing is to know who you are. And Jesus right. said, and, and he who knows himself knows the Lord. Right. And he who knows the Lord knows himself. And these people run around talking about I'm born again, but then they'll frown on the name of Allah. Mm -hmm. And who? And our men, well, they don't even realize our men <laughs> is the name of the Lord. Most right. of them, they think our men just mean so be with the Lord. That's something the devil did too. You know, took the Bible and took the periods and put them in the wrong place and made, took our men's name out and, right. and made it seem like it meant so be it with the Lord. When they was saying in the Bible, oh, like something like, oh, Lord, amen, I thank you for right. what you do. Amen. You know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it's talking to our men, yes, you mm -hmm. know, and it's really ah, men. Oh, okay. It's like the ah. And they speak to give him praise as praise to our men. But but see in, in the Bible they it's not so much just praise. They was talking like I would say, Oh Allah, oh Aiza. You know, they said, Oh our men but they put a period there and to, before you got to that and, and made it seem like you said, okay. so be it with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I think when our men is the Lord, they don't want to know the Amin Ra Batah. Kloon, right. you know, Asare or Osiris, they don't want you to know that's associated with their, with the true the true Lord of all worlds. They don't want you to know that that's associated with Christ. They don't want you to know that Christ and Nur and Ra have a close association and meaning. You understand? You know, what they got in their dictionaries and they got in their language, they got in the facts of their lives that like Ra or Ra is from radium, it's from the sun, it's all relative to the sun. Anything you see with the RAA or the RA, you'll see is relative to the heat, the light, the light, okay. Just like radiation. You understand what I'm saying? They know that, but they will not tell that truth to the people. They will not explain that. That's what the Lord is doing today. The Lord has come down itself again. And the spirit of, of its Christ, and the spirit of his all-powerful being, and its wisdom to give to me the unlocking right. of that which they sealed up, mm -hmm. and some of the things it sealed up itself, to keep away from the evil people. So now, those who watch this program now have a better understanding why he's saying that the newly chosen, the newly chosen people today, we have a duty, have a duty I had, to uphold to express, mm -hmm. and part of this program, again, is that expression yeah, of yeah. the Lord, because I always say as we speak on it, this is not our program, this is the Lord's program, but we use as hosts or as vehicles to get this word out, this message, and the Holy Apostle, Holy Queen Mother, Brother Frank Care, I thank all of all of y'all for being here, because as we learn and talk and conversate, I learn every time we sit in this program, so as the people watch, I hope they're educated and learning, because as I've fed, I'm always fed my either through these people to get this word of truth, and this word of truth is for us all. Well, let me say this here. This, what we're doing here today, actually, it's been prophesied. Okay. And it's right. in the Quran, I can show you. It, oh, yeah. You know, but that's just another issue, but right. this is not something that just happened to be. This is something that was meant to be. You know, and Aiza is going to have its people. Yeah. We're, yeah. we, we, Allah is going to have its people, you know, no matter what they do in this city, no matter what they do in this vicinity, in this world, this country, everything that's been prophesied about the day of revelation is going to be, and much of it is already being. This is an I had a moment. Have a good evening, good night. Who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight? Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight? Who of you want to do things right? Who of you?